Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. For today, I'm going to continue my goal of using all of my stamp sets that I haven't used <laughs> and um, we're going to be making this cute little birthday card. Um, I guess it doesn't have to be birthday, it doesn't specifically say birthday, it says hope today is one wild ride so you could give it to somebody for anything really. Um, I'll probably use it as a birthday card though but Anyways, um, this is the card that we're making today. I absolutely love this. I actually had made a card similar to this um, almost a year ago. Has it been that long? It's been a while. I made a card similar to this a long time ago and um, always planned on doing a video for it, but then I never got around to it or it fell off my radar or something happened and um, I saw this set and I was like I've always I meant to do that video so I did, I'm kind of doing that today I did change it up just a little bit from my original design um but anyways I really hope you guys enjoy this one it's super fun and it's actually really fast and easy and it has a great look um in the end so we're obviously going to be using the one wild ride stamp set I love this one it's a great masculine stamp set and I have a lot of guys in my life that love um motorcycles and bikes and stuff like that so this one fits in really well for my personal life but outside of that it's a great set regardless and um, we're going to be using two ink pads today we're going to just use basic black and Versamark because we're going to be doing some embossing with our silver embossing powder so this one's really simple too you don't need a ton of supplies to do it um, it's pretty basic um, we're going to be using for cardstock our basic gray this is cut at eight and a half by five and a quarter we have a piece of basic black, which is cut at five and a, what is this cut at? How can I ever remember this? Five and a quarter by four inches. I'm having another brain fart. <laughs> and then we have two little pieces of Whisper White. This one right here is cut at three and a half by two inches. And this one is cut at a half an inch by two and three quarters of an inch. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm actually going to start with our two little pieces of Whisper White, just because I feel like that's a good place to start. Why not? And the first thing that we're going to do is give our pieces of Whisper White that like rugged, distressed look, and we're going to be use just our basic black ink pad to do that. Um, so I'll start with the larger piece because it's a little bit easier to do on the larger piece. And all I'm going to do is take my ink pad and um, my piece of paper, and I'm first going to start by... Um, just rubbing the ink pad on the edges and when I'm doing it I'm doing it more flat than I am just getting it on the edges and get, that gives you this nice texture on the inside of your paper and not just on the um, edges so you can literally you can just kind of put the ink pad down and rub it and it'll give you that really cool texture so um, it's a super easy technique but it looks awesome especially for this card so I'm gonna do the same thing for this little piece it's a little more difficult on the little piece just because it is so tiny but what I have found works is I'm gonna do all the edges first and then I'm gonna hold one of the shorter edges and just kind of give it the little texture there. And this one I would recommend not doing as much of the texture on the inside, um, just so that our sentiment really pops. And while we have our basic black ink out, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp our sentiment and our image um, on these pieces just so that we have that done because we have everything out right now. And our sentiment is going to go on this little tiny piece. Again, I'm using this stamp that says, hope today is one wild ride. I just really like it. There's a couple different uh, sentiments in this set that you could use in, um, instead of this one. So it's completely up to you. I'm gonna set that off to the side and then take our bigger piece and I have our motorcycles um, mounted up on here. And I'm just gonna get that nice and inked up and put our motorcycle on right there. Perfect. And like I said, that texture from the ink pad just really gives it a nice distressed look. I personally think it makes it look absolutely amazing, but that's just me. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave those off to the side while we do the next thing. And this one, um, this is where we're gonna do some embossing. And this is really just to give the card some more texture and make, um, make it pop a little bit more. So we're gonna use our Versamark ink. And I'm gonna use this um, tire track 
or tire tread uh, stamp in our Versamark. And I'm just gonna kind of randomly stamp this on our piece of basic black. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get this all over so that I have a nice fun background and with this you are going to see quite a bit of this background um, so you want to make sure that you are stamping it and getting um, the images in on most of the piece because like I said you are going to be seeing quite a bit of this uh, once the card is finished once we put everything together and I'm crisscrossing them, I'm layering them over each other. The nice thing about doing um, embossing on basic black is that you really do see a lot of um, where you're stamping. So it's not hard to kind of guess where you need to add more. You can really see it on here. So that's why I like embossing on basic black. Now I'm just going to take my silver embossing powder and I'm just going to find an area that I can kind of hold it. Actually, let me open this up first. I do have my scratch piece down here, as you can see, and I'm just going to kind of hold it by the corner and just shake this down. Just like so. Then I'm going to flip it over and I have my paintbrush here. Um, oops, I'm making a mess. I did not use my um, embossing buddy just because I found that it does leave a lot of residue um, that I particularly don't like on basic black cardstock. So um, that's why I didn't use it. You can go in here with a paintbrush like I am um, for some areas where you have like fingerprints or something um, from the oils on your fingers. I happen to have that problem. Um, so I'm just going in and softening that up. But once we heat set this, all of these areas that look like they have um, some sheen to them and embossing powder, you can, we'll take a, uh, a paper towel and wipe that off and you won't actually see it anymore. So I'm gonna set that off to the side for just a moment while I'm gonna try to get this embossing powder back in here without making an absolute mess. I've already made a pretty big mess, so, you know, there's that. Kind of clean this up so I don't get all of this embossing powder stuck to my desk. Okay. I think we should be good. Close this up before I spill again. Okay. So now we're going to take our little embossed piece and just bring it over and I'm going to go ahead and just heat set this and once all the embossing powder is melted I will come right back. Okay so that is all done and now I'm just going to take a paper towel and um, just wipe all over here and like I said all of those shiny bits where it looks like there was embossing powder stuck there really isn't it's just kind of some of the residue so you can wipe all of that away and be good to go so now we just need to put the card together really um, I'm gonna take our two pieces here that we stamped on earlier and I'm just gonna take some regular adhesive you could put this up with dimensionals if you wanted to I just kind of liked the um, the look of this card being really uh, flat and just letting the images kind of stand out and speak for themselves. Um, I just kind of liked that. So that's what I did. But you could do dimensionals if you wanted to. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it would look great. So I'm just going to put this on here. I'm centering it um, left and right and then it's closer up to the top. And then I'm just going to kind of leave the same amount of space with our little sentiment, just like that. Then I'm going to take my piece of basic gray cardstock, fold this in half, and I'm going to put this I think my, yep, I'm almost out of adhesive, so it's getting a little funny. And then I'm just going to stick it down on our card base. 
and that's our card for today super quick super easy i absolutely love the look of this card i i, I love this one i really do um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did also just want to mention that today is the last day to get this month's online card class, which is featuring the Sweet Home um, stamp set. I also have an option so you can upgrade to get the Thinlets if you, Thinlets or Framelets, whatever we call them. Um, if you're interested in that, today is the absolute last day to do it. So um, if you're interested, make sure you go over and... Um, check it out before it is gone. I will be um, closing it tonight at midnight Mountain Standard Time um, will be when it is closed. So just a little um, announcement for you guys there. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, as usual, all of my links will be down below. If you want to pick up any of these supplies, please go over and click on the Stampin' Up! link. It'll take you directly to um, the Stampin' Up! Website, website so you can purchase any of these products directly from me. And I hope you guys all are doing great and enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.